This almond tart is a real showstopper. To start, I'm going to make my meringues. I've got 100ml of room temperature aquafaba and that's just cooked chickpea water. And I'm gonna put that in now. I'm gonna add in a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar and that's gonna help stabilize the meringue. I'm also going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. That's gonna do the same. I'm going to whisk these on a high speed for about 10 minutes. You can find another video about meringues on our channel under Eaton Mess. So it's been 10 minutes and it's whisked up beautifully, incredibly firm and you can put it over your head without it falling. I'm now going to add in my caster sugar one tablespoon at a time, waiting for each tablespoon to be really well whisked in. My meringue is done. See how beautifully glossy that is. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste and whisk that in. I'm now going to fold in my ground almonds. It's best if you can get whole blanched almonds and then just grind them up in a food processor. Really nice and fine. And I'm going to stir these in. I want to mix this really well together. I'm going to add in my plain flour. I'm going to fold that in really well as well. And a few drops of almond essence. So that's my almond filling. I'm going to put it to one side for about 10 minutes and that's just going to let the mixture firm up before I bake it in my tart shell. I've got my pre-baked sweet pastry tart shell. You can get the recipe on our channel. And I'm just going to put my mixture in. It's very sticky, just sort of spooning it in. Using my spatula, I'm just going to try and even it out. There are a few steps to making this almond tart and the pastry is something you can do in advance. You want to bake the pastry shell on the day you're making the tart but you can make the pastry. You can keep it in the refrigerator for about four or five days. You can even freeze it. I've preheated the oven to 120 degrees celsius so quite low and I'm going to bake it for an hour and a half. It will be a very light golden on top. You'll see. My tart is baked up beautifully. It's a very light golden brown and I'm just going to allow it to cool. You can serve it like this, sprinkled with a little icing sugar or topped with some lovely seasonal berries, strawberries, raspberries. Today I'm going to use raspberries. Look at that beautiful raspberry tart. I'm just going to finish it off with some icing sugar. Your beautiful raspberry and almond tart, a real showstopper. Thanks so much for tuning in, especially to our subscribers. I'll see you again next week for another recipe. A lovely crispy base and that almondy chewy filling with that beautiful fruit raspberry topping is absolutely delicious. Top tip for any leftovers, take the fruit topping off and store the almond base in an airtight container or just wrap it with cling film. You can store it for up to three days. When you come to serving it again, just put the fruit back on top, dust it with icing sugar and no one will ever know it'll be good as new.